Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at the X-Men Hellfire Gala oversized hardcover. So without further ado, let's take a look at this book. Okay, here is the cover of the book, and as you can see, I went with the direct market variant because it features some of my favorite X-Ladies, and it features my favorite X-Lady, Emma Frost, rocking that awesome outfit. And here is the spine of the book, nothing crazy, but the other one is just one flat goldish color, so I preferred this one as well. And here is the back of the book, as you can see, we've got an Emma Frost quote, and that is, Tonight is the one that will have all the fireworks. Good stuff, Emma. Alright, so let's crack into the Hellfire Gala X-Men event. So first of all, what does this collect? Well, it's got X-Men number 21, Marauders 21, Excalibur 21, X-Force 20, New Mutants 19, X-Factor 10, Hellions 12, Sword 6, Way of X3, X-Corp 2, Wolverine 13, and Planet Size X-Men. So if you're unfamiliar, you're probably like, wow, that is a lot of titles that are collected in this one book. And that's because the Hellfire Gala event is an event that affected all of the mutant Krakoa X-Men titles that were going on at the time because it takes place over this one night. It takes place over one awesome party that Emma Frost is hosting. And the Hellfire Gala is something that is going to become a Krakoan tradition. And it's got a few purposes. One of them is to announce, have the vote, and announce the new team who's going to be the new X-Men for that year, I suppose. The other one is sort of just to do some, you know, diplomatic flexing because they invite, you know, representatives of other nations to this party and they're just like, hey, look at us. We are prestigious. We're high class. We've got it going on and we actually don't even really need your help to, you know, be this powerhouse of the world. And there's also a third reason that is going to be specific to this actual Hellfire Gala, this first one here, and it's a big change for Krakoa, it's a big change for the Marvel 616 universe, and it's something pretty cool. It's an awesome display of power from the mutants and Krakoa, and it's something you don't want to miss because I think it's going to have awesome implications in the future, and this is sort of the foundation for that. Now, as an event itself, I have to say to you all, I'm going to be very biased here because, like I said, Emma Frost is my favorite character, and this is basically just a big party that she's hosting. So obviously, I think this event is fantastic. I think it's really great. It's not as action-packed as some of the other events, like X of Swords was, and it's not as revolutionary as, for example, House of X, Powers of X was, but it's still a really good time. There's still a lot of great character moments. We get a lot of great character looks, too, because something that I really enjoyed about this, and it's nothing, I didn't, I didn't ever think I'd really care about fashion in comic books, you know? But the X-Men have sort of shifted my mentality on that, because one, I'm always just a big fan of their, their costumes, their superhero outfits, but they're also sort of just putting on, you know, actual fashion designed outfits and dresses and suits for this event and they sort of do this intertwining of fashion with their powers so it's really cool and it's just really unique and it's another just like flex of mutant and Krakoan culture that is so satisfying in these books. I mean hyper fixating on Emma Frost she has like three looks that she changes into this night. I mean she's got like this diamond spaghetti look, she's got this marshmallow look, and then she's got this sort of just showing a lot of skin type look which I guess is something Emma Frost likes to do because she is showing a lot of skin fairly often but they're classy they're all very classy and all of these great looks that were created by actual fashion designers by the way are in the back of the book as well here as extras because this includes the hellfire gala guide which was essentially just that it was like the blueprints for how everything sort of came together and how the looks came together so that's included in here too which is super awesome and i so badly want to talk about the most monumental thing that happens in here that happens in planet size x-men and is sort of the book end of the festivities but uh it's a big spoiler and i want you to experience it for yourself like i did because i was like really excited you know jumping around at the the power of the x-men and the power of the mutants and just how great this krakoa area is when i first read it so i want you to experience that as well but like i said there's this party is really casual for the longest time there's you know little plots going on there's uh some action in there a, a bit too that they put but the big stuff the big payoff is at the end of all this but personally I enjoy those little character moments a lot too, and I might enjoy those more than the action even. I've said it before on this channel as a sort of joke, but it's not a joke, that I think X-Men is just, you know, kind of like a soap opera with action, and I would probably still read it and still really, really enjoy it, even if it didn't really have the action, because, you know, I'm in it for the characters for the long term. So that is part of what's intertwined in this, I think. 
Oh, I did want to mention also, I don't normally pick up oversized hardcovers. I really only do it when they're X-Men related, but I had to mention that the binding on this seems pretty tight. I'm pretty sure it's sewn binding. Maybe it's glued. It's a little hard for me to tell here because the binding does look a little different, but it still looks like it's kind of sewn in my opinion. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not very good at telling that but if you can see, it's sort of hard for me to hold the book open flat. And I did, you know, mess around with it to, to try and get it to stay flat, but keeps wanting to close on me. So just throwing that out there. It's not too annoying, but it is something to be aware of. But guys, let me know if you're planning on picking this one up. If you did, you would put it on the shelf right after your X of Swords books. And this is sort of the foundation for the new X-Men books that are launching like Immortal X-Men, um, Marauders is relaunching, Knights of X, Legion of X. All of that. This is a good foundation place for getting into those books. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. We're so close to 500, so it'd be really great to get there. I really appreciate you all, and have a great rest of your day.